My name is Isabella. I'm a revert, convert, whichever suits you, for over 25 years now. Living in London with my children and as a single parent. I'm also a vice chair of the organization for Polish converts, uh, living in UK, providing support and education regarding our faith, Islam. That is always something emotional. <laughs> I know revert, it's like a rebirth. Our own autonomy brought us to the acknowledgement of the existence of one God. And uh, I think I live as a Muslim for the most of my life because my parents really live according to Islam. And when I was a Christian, I could not affiliate myself, attach myself to that faith. So when I met Muslims, I wasn't really attracted to the faith, whatever. But one sister spoke to me about Islam and every answer was just like, yes, yes. This is funny that it's me. I can recognize myself in this faith. And the sister said, you know what? You're basically a Muslim. Honestly, the way you recognize this faith, this is what you are. And I took Shahada. That day I just took Shahada. And um, that's the, the passage I thought, people say it's the most difficult one, but it's actually it's the most easiest one <laughs> to acknowledge and put that strain, that, that confirmation, one God, and I only were responsible to him. And then later on, obviously, when you read the Quran, you understand uh, how does the obedience look like, how does faith brings you closer, and what's the mercy of his is. You just gain again towards and towards each day that you, you're progressing. I said the same day. I told them, right, this is not like even what I believe. This is who I am. And the same day, I just called my parents and I said, I am a Muslim now. They were living in Poland, they still do. They just told me, if you're happy, we are happy. And that was like kind of a shock to me. I thought they would be more agitated and asking me more questions, but they didn't. They were aware really what Islam is and they just allowed me. If you're happy, we're happy with Muslims. I really struggle with Muslims. There is so much culture, tradition, gaslight with this that you feel a stranger. You feel really stranger among Muslims. Sometimes Muslims will bring the quotes of the Quran, of the Hadith, just to implement the ideologies. And I am so struck by this because you can see logic. You really can see the logic in Islam about the justice and about the beauty of it. And yet you will have some Muslims come in and bring in a stuff that you just say, no, that's not Islam. That's not Allah that I know. Absolutely not. So this is what I'm really struggling. This is what I'm really struggling, that Muslims as a human beings. If honestly, if I was the Islam from Muslims, probably I would not become Muslim. This is something that puts me off sometimes. To me in the beginning, because I, I became Muslim in the late 90s, there was not much knowledge to gain, clear knowledge really. Islam has so many varieties to learn. We in England have just uh, one path really to go and it's the books I was getting, South Asian or Salafi books. And in the beginning, I thought, okay, that went. And it was very much so, as a woman, I was like, no, if Allah dresses believing men and believing women, that means I'm there on the same level. I'm there to be recognized as well as a human being. But the books I was given, they were kind of the opposite. Hence, I just said, there must be better knowledge. Just be patient with yourself and I just stuck for, for a little bit just with the reading Quran and trying to get the good tafsir of it so I think it's the knowledge it's the knowledge that I could not I didn't have access as a woman I do believe that women still struggle to gain the knowledge to have the access for it and society, our communities do not support that do not give that provision I know men can go and study even with their husbands and fathers they can go and study, it's like the job. Well, woman, she can't have this. When she becomes a mother, that's it. This is like her only basic job. Nobody helps her to balance this. That she can also be alamia and she can also be a mother. So there's no support for that for women. We are not saints. Please don't put us on that pedestal. Something better that we are 
we have a better connection with God. You know, we also struggle to see ourselves as a fragile human beings. The words hurt, and if we don't receive patience from other Muslims, we can live. We can just live because the loneliness that we already are in, it's hard enough. I want to allow sisters to understand it's normal to feel alone. It's normal to be misunderstood. It's normal to be lost. You won't have the answer straight away. So be patient with yourself. Be kind to yourself. You're not the only one that goes through it. And if there are other sisters, reach out and see if they can be your link of support. I think for Rivets, brothers and sisters, what is missing is that love and that support. We are being told how to behave. We are being told what's halal, what's haram. We are being patronized a lot, but we are not being cared for. We are not being heard that what is my need, even if you say that's haram, I would say, say I cannot be alone and fight this by myself. That link of uh, support is really missing. That time to give for convert is missing. It's so quickly to give someone shahada, but then you will leave them on their own, on their own devices, and we are so lost. We're supposed to be supported. We're not just supposed to be told off, but we're supposed to be supported. And that's missing. That's really, really missing. And I think we have been more educated about the culture and traditions instead of having the Sirah of the Prophet brought into the light. How he really, as a convert himself, allowed everything within time to get closer to God. No, no, I haven't. No, I didn't, I didn't ever reach out. So I, okay. I do direct sisters to your, to your organization, <laughs> but I, <laughs> I didn't reach out. It's because it's made by converts. Converts who understand the struggles. Converts that had to use their own devices to survive. And they know it's not easy. That's why I think Solas has this brilliant way to provide support to sisters. They know what you're going through. <laughs>